Now that we have separated the data project, we are going to put all the new models inside this project. And we have said that a model is just a C-sharp class which represents a table in the database and is used to send or to get data from the database. We are now going to add some functionality to the app. And of course, we are going to start with the most important section, which is the timeline. In the timeline, you can see that we have posts and stories. Now, a post or a story does belong to a user, but we still do not have a table to store the user data. And that is what we are going to do in this part. We are going to add the users table, and for that we need a new C Sharp class, or as we call them now, a new model. To create a new model, we just need to go to Solution Explorer, and now we have the data project, so just here, then inside models, right click, and add a class. I'm going to name it user and then add. Let us change this to be public. And this is going to have three properties. The first one is going to be the identifier. The second one is going to be the full name. And the third one is going to be the profile picture URL. And this is going to be an optional field. So string to make this optional question mark. Now for us to be able to use migration so we can create a new table using this model, we need to go and modify the app DB context. Just open this file. And then down here, we need to define that using the user model, we want to create a table in the database with the name users. And then in here, get set, so we can get and we can send data to this table. Let us save the changes. So we have the model. We did update the AppDB context. Now we just need to add a migration and then update the database. In here, let me just go to circle app.data and then add dash migration. The migration name is going to be user underscore edit. This did add the migration file, and in here we can see that the migration file name is user edit. It does inherit from the base class migration, and it has two methods. The method up is used to create or to apply this migration, and the method down is just going to drop whatever this migration creates, which in this case, it does create a table, so it's just going to remove the table users. Up here, we can see we have just ID, full name, and profile picture URL. So we have the migration file. Let us push these changes to the database. And for that, we just use update dash database and then press enter. We can see that the command was executed successfully. And now we just need to go to server explorer to verify our changes. Just right click, then refresh. Inside the tables, we have both pause and the user's table. 